when y'all learned it. Yes. Yeah. That's what we learned. 82, 83. Okay. We learned in 82, 83, man. What happened was, tell from a crib. When we were young, man, my mom and them shoot us out of town, ship us off, and have us go um, stay with my daddy. Every summer, we got to go stay with daddy. It's, um, get the goddamn kids out the house. Mama be packing your shit, be having your summer clothes ready. My mama always do. She finna get rid of us, us any motherfucking way. You hear me? Yeah. So my mom would ship us out. And every time she ship us out, we had to go stay around cousins, you know, doing the, doing the sad. Well, tell from a crib. OG person, Super Day, we got shipped off one summer. We got shipped off this summer, we got shipped to West Texas, Lubbock, Texas. When we got to Lubbock, Texas, um, um, Lubbock was a high jumping town at this time. You got the Texas, uh, 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 what's the Texas Tech, you know, say be quiet. Yeah. You got Texas Tech, they play down there, the Raiders, and they got a nice community down there. And the, 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 the city was crunk because it was a college, a college little old city. Yeah. But anyway, uh, come to find, yes sir, come to find out, uh. Love it is a hood too. Every city got its ghetto. Every city got its ghetto. And my mom used to send us down there. What had happened was when me and my little brother went down there this goddamn summer, we ran into some some love of niggas. Yeah. You understand me? The first niggas we ran into was this nigga named Rodney and D Cat. You understand me? Um, we um bumped head soon, so I'm telling y'all, y'all follow the Bell Brick Road. Y'all follow the Brick Road. But anyway, um, when she sent us down there, we had to always stay, you know, with daddy. So we went there and um. Found out every city got their own hood, so they had a place called a center. You understand me? Over in um, uh, in um, Parkway, over in the Parkway neighborhood, over there in um, Lubbock, Texas. Now my memory is you know, pretty pretty sharp. We stayed on 1818 East Colgate Street. You understand me? Uh, the east side of town. In case y'all yeah. want to know. You understand me and my little brother? We did time in Lubbock too. You yeah. understand me? I went to Esther Cotton Matador. My little brother went to Alderson. You understand me? <laughs> if I'm correct, I might. <laughs> uh, so um, and I um, and our first time we get down there, you understand me? We went to go to the little thing called the center. My brothers took us to the thing called the center, and we came to find out, you know, you know, you know, every little city don't care where you go. I don't care where we went, you know, we know we was fire. You understand me? But um, we didn't know niggas was fire just like us. Uh -huh. You understand me? And and it, it just goes to show, it don't matter where you go, big city, little city, small town, um. It's always on nigga on your level somewhere. Yeah. You understand me? But we went in this motherfucker and we were playing pool. We was doing our thing and shit. You know, we, 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 me and my brother, brother was shot because we stood out. We, knew, look, we looked like we were new niggas. You understand me? And people were peeping us out. And so we playing a pool game. I got ready to shoot again. A nigga walked up and grabbed a pool ball off the table. <laughs> and told me he was playing next. His name happened to be D-Cat. You understand me? And uh, I'm like, oh, yeah? So goddamn, you like, yeah, I'm playing right, next now, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah scrub in today. Uh, uh. I said, yeah, man, uh, what's up? And he said, yeah. So he went to talking, bumping. You understand me? So uh, I guess he thought I wasn't going to play next. So he got on his gangster shit immediately. Because he was one of the bad boys. Goddamn it, me and him started scratching right there in the thing. Me and him took off with each other right there in there. Uh. He tried to get out on my little brother. Goddamn it, told, told little brother, little partner, Rodney, to come outside. And I think my little brother freaked with his little partner. Yeah. What? Went out there and shined on him. Back, back, back. Now we the hot boys yeah. in town. You understand me? We the hot boys in town. We went down there. Then I ended up going to school down there to make a long story short. Uh, every city got its own gangsters. Everybody ain't going to keep it 1,000, y'all. Yeah. Everybody, everybody ain't built like us. Everybody ain't built like you. If you know you 1,000, you just make sure you keep it there. If a nigga ain't built like you, that's why you are who you are. Because if one nigga's beard like that, everybody be the motherfucking same. Everybody ain't the same. Yeah. YSL, y'all are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I will let to say this. Y'all in trouble. Uh. All you can do now, I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen now. Uh. We call this, uh, when we were kids, something that all the kids did when everybody get in trouble, when one motherfucker told it. Hello! I guess everybody in the family done ran into this problem before. Uh, I have ran into it several times. Not with my own family, because my, my brother, we were kids, we were kind of like lawyers. We were kind of, you know, we kind of like hung in there together on some real shit, because, you know, he gets gangster when mama ain't around. <laughs> in the room. Huh? See, he get gangster back there in that room with mama. We've been doing time with each other. <laughs> yeah. Sleeping on the top bunk, bottom bunk shit. You hear me? We grew up like that. Our bunks used to fall in. They keep talking about playing with us. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nigga on the bottom bunk in trouble. Bam! <laughs> oh shit. You ain't that? That's how our bum beds work. Nah, perfect. <laughs> I was going somewhere. I forgot where I was going, down. Take me out the road, man. <laughs> Loyalty. Uh. I was in that motherfucker, man, and uh. This what happened to all of us. Thank you, Dave. Put me right back on yeah. track. Uh. This what happened to all of us. One motherfucker tell? Shit. And then one motherfucker tell it on another motherfucker. When, when they start breaking you, that's what you never wanted to see. Well, as kids, you get in there with everybody, and everybody starting to know. We know we've been shit, been months. We've been fucking up bus, got that yeah. And one motherfucker break out the group. You know, when everybody in trouble, well, you had told me that. Son and son, no, I didn't. Well, shit, you had told me, mama, look, everybody, and then everybody go to God damn. You know, we ain't really never had that going on in our house. I've seen it many times when I go stay other other motherfucking places. Yeah. Uh. Ain't nobody, everybody didn't keep it 100. Yeah. <laughs> Get back to where I was at. When we used to go there, we used to lay down. The same gang you say just came out, we sit there and make a motherfucker bend down. We come up and we would grab them by the neck and hold them until they pass out. It's work. I'm a pro at it. I'm so cold I can put my motherfucking self to sleep. <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah. And you can't hold it down. You better know when to let go. Yeah. You were, you were, <laughs> I'm cold. If I grab you, I don't give a fuck what you do. Yeah. That's how cold I am. If I put that one on you, I know where to put the pressure at. And I know how to put you to sleep immediately. I'm a pro with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but saying that to say when we was kids, um, we would play. My daddy used to go in Lubbock, Texas. They had a place called the Bingo Hall right there. And all the people went to go play bingo. Thank you, Sue. Play bingo. And when they would leave at night, me and my brother, we could be bad. So they taught us how to put people to sleep. When I seen this shit really work, when I seen a nigga do my big brother like that, and I know my big brother really don't act like that, that's when I knew the shit was working for real. I like, well, hold on, girl. And that was our shit. That we got, that was a bad motherfucker. I wasn't built like that. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. My brother in there, that nigga do them like that, but me, shit. <laughs> I could now. Nah. Yeah. Now I seen the shit work. It's, it's like it's like putting a gun to your head, say shoot yourself. And you want to go next? Nah, I don't. Nah, I don't think I won't do that. <laughs> but you just did him like that. I know, but shit. <laughs> you don't look like it. It's something that ain't right. When we were little kids, we used to run and jump from roof to roof. Yeah, we was on some gangster shit. We had nuts as babies. Yeah. But one thing I had was sense too. I was on the Wilson house, people called the Wilson, we used to jump from the Wilson house to the next house, but, but I had to remember that I was a shorter nigga. I think I used my senses, I think my senses made me be alive today. I don't give a damn if you call me punk bitch or whole whatever, come on person. Now I seen niggas doing it, Yeah. but you had to realize, you know, I, I was smart and I was smart for a reason because a scientific fact, they legs are longer than mine. <laughs> yeah. A yeah. scientific fact, they older than me. A scientific fact, they can jump higher already than me. Um, Percy, you short, your legs ain't that long, and you don't jump higher as them niggas. You might not make it. <laughs> yeah. They doing it with ease. When I, yeah, jumping roof to roof. We, we, we was dirt devils like that. Saying that to say that every time, everybody ain't built like that. Shit. I was a thinker. I run to the end of Russell. Oh, shit. That's a long drop. If I miss, I'm gone. Uh, I was a nigga to say, um, pull over, let me out the car. <laughs> I ain't going on, like the boys in the hood. <laughs> hey, hey, pull over. Let me out. <laughs> Trey, what's wrong? What, let me out. That's me. Let me out. That's the nigga in the back seat. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going. Because I know one thing about this car. When it crash, yeah. everybody going to burn in it. Yeah. I know one thing about this car when it get pulled over and it's all said and done and the bullets is fine, the shells on the ground, the forensics has been done, the CSI that came, uh, somebody's gonna give up the game. <laughs> I'm looking at the big picture, not the small picture. The small picture, we finna go through here, slide on these niggas, not glass everywhere, have blood on the seats, the glass and the dash. <laughs> but in the end, they gonna have our ass, you hear me? Cause somebody <coughs> ain't gonna keep it 100. I gotta keep saying this. Why I said y'all are in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Cause y'all has people with you like that. When you carry people around with you like that, it ain't built like that. You better know one thing. It sound good, 
before you do it. But when mama go out there and get that switch, get that stick off the tree, get that switch and get to hitting you with it, that's a bad motherfucker. My mama ain't used switches, regular really, note. But when she did, that's when you knew you was in real, real trouble. Yeah. <laughs> when you see the switch game, same thing when you niggas. When niggas see niggas with that stick, they get hitting with that stick. What do you feel like you hitting with, Dom? Yeah. What do you feel like hitting, hitting with? with that stick. Nah, I feel like you getting hit with a, a switch. switch. <laughs> bars, nigga. <laughs> That's young nigga top. When nigga pull nah, that you stick. Gotta cut the ball, yeah, bro. you catch the ball. Nah, I got the ball. Okay. You come with the ball. You right. I ain't yeah, come with the yeah, ball. Yeah. I just really just threw it out there. That's a bad <laughs> motherfucker. I'm gonna have to study that one. <laughs> the stick and the switch. <laughs> These young niggas got these days sticks and switches on them, you balls. They start hitting with the switches. <laughs> they start hitting you with that stick. You start feeling like you getting hit yeah, with a switch. They, they you hear me? <laughs> nigga, grab that stick. Start hitting you with that stick and feel like you getting hit with a switch. You hear me? Yeah, you know I'm saying. You hear me? But that's 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 what's going down, y'all. Why I say y'all in trouble, Woody? Is pecking down trees and he's taking a lot of niggas with him. He's cutting holes in the trees and uh if y'all ever looked at Woody the Woodpecker, you would know. You would know that uh he ain't playing. He ain't never been caught and all he can do is just try keep picking. He just made Woody Woodpecker never been shot down at the tree with a BB gun, a pellet gun, or nothing. Yeah. Woody goes and, and just pisses nigga. And so Woody uh why I said Woody uh sad to say, uh you know, it's looking, it's looking, looking, looking bad on your part, but guess what? It's so looking like sunshine on the ends of the road for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Cause all he sees, he see the white light. You niggas don't. The niggas that sitting there saying they keeping it real. You know what? Cause I'm check for the happen, diamond. Don't listen to me. Y'all just watch and see. Yeah. When they find out what Woody doing and find out it's confirmed and it's official, she. Who gonna keep them here? She. What? They gonna be there doing their hands like this. God damn, man. Yeah. Shit, man. Who 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 Woody talking to? And cause it's gonna be more niggas. When Woody may find out Woody, cause guess what? They know Woody know too motherfucking much. And if Woody tell what he really knows, some of them niggas know they in more trouble than what they was in before Woody started motherfucking talking. Yeah. Sweet. See, I was just in this shit now, but Woody didn't start talking, I'm in more shit. So I better do like Woody do and take this plea right now. And, and, and see if I can get on, on the Woody train. Yeah. Because niggas finna start talking. Woody ain't gonna be the only one talking. It's been going on. Y'all ain't seen it? Y'all ain't seen it? Shout out to Charleston. One more time. Uh, he brought something out that I know that I thought would never, ever come true in my life. This nigga made snitching cool to do. Yeah. Hello! Did that go over y'all here? See, we used to watch Charles and sit there at the police station right there and say, Fort Worth Terry. I'm right here at the Fort Worth Fort Worth Police Department. I'm telling on niggas on David Street, every street. They threatened me. They said, we're going to do that. And he showed y'all that in public. Nobody said a motherfucking thing. He's the king right now then. Uh, now ain't nobody scared to tell it on no motherfucking body. Yeah. <laughs> but shout out to American Gangster because they showed y'all the blueprint years ago. This was to come. Hey, y'all, hey. Got that? He all right. Uh, he showed you the blueprint years ago with American Gangster, and since then, them pyramids have been being built. I already know my face on a pyramid. Yeah. I already know mine, my, but I, but it ain't at the top of the motherfucker. <laughs> it, it, it just dry. Matter of fact, just put to the side. I'm, I'm, I'm the face that build a pyramid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear me? That's me. That's what they use me for. Uh, that's how you know how the system works. The system been watching me for years. You think if my son went to the, to the motherfucking feds and I got sons in the feds and I got sons that, um, um, that's been watched by the U.S. Marshals that they ain't watching their daddy too? <laughs> you got to be great. But I don't give them nothing to watch but dick and drugs. <laughs> that's all I'm doing. I don't do nothing. Else. I don't fuck with nobody. I don't want nobody around me. Leave me alone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, um, you learn that throughout the years when you done been around it already. I just sit in the courtroom and had a nigga point at me like this. I believe in magic. Because I'd actually sit on the stand and watch my dog turn into a snake. Boys, nigga. I believe in magic. Yeah. Because what? Yeah. 
I sit there and watch my dog get on the stand in my face and turn into a motherfucking snake. And told it on me. That nigga pointed me out when they said Percy Dimmons is sitting in the courtroom right now, Mrs. Sutton. So he said, yes, he is. He yeah. said, could you point him out? I said, God. Motherfucker, man. <laughs> That's exactly how you look. <laughs> you see the look? You see it? Yeah, I gave you the whole, I gave you the whole scenario. You yeah, fit? and that's how I look. Cause guess what? That's what I knew by then. I knew I was, I knew I was fucked. Yeah, Him, yeah. And a lot of you niggas gonna play the game with this nigga Woody, get in court, and when he walk in there, cause he not already told him. Yeah, the world. I one thing about the world, the world leaks, nigga. They can't hold. God damn, do I have to show y'all this nigga every time I I get here. I gotta prove to this y'all every time. Hold on, I got this. Is just a spirit. This is a, a scientific fact. Can I get y'all a sign right here in y'all face? Look at this, everybody. Y'all got that? Look at this. Y'all see that? Let me try it again. Hold on. Let me try it again. I'm trying my best. To hold, hold on. Hold on. Uh. I did this on one station already. I'm saying that to say this. Niggas can't hold water. I ain't met a motherfucker that can hold water yet. Sure. Fuck you mean. When shit gets to going like it's going with them niggas, it's time for the... The pen to be they pad. Yeah. <laughs> and they pass that nigga them pen in that pad. And tell them niggas start, let's go. Right? Betty you, right. You, uh huh? Betty right. Betty right. <laughs> niggas, niggas, tonight is the night. Yeah. <laughs> Did I tell everything on you motherfuckers? Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be that night. Betty right. Balls, nigga. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so Eric Coda, man, uh, the killer of Nipsey Hussle, right. he finally got his time. Um, they gave him 60 years. To life. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people was kind of upset about it. You know, Boosie even hit the internet, and he was basically saying, you know, that there wasn't enough time and stuff like that. He said, you know, he, he could possibly get at it. You know, he did 20 years, he could get out. You know, uh, what's your thoughts on it? I think he'll never come home. There is a thing called the um, protest system when people go and protest every time you come up for parole they go and protest that you don't make it home right uh they probably got that bitch signed up for life already on him every time he come up for parole uh, they're gonna say um you didn't make it why well, because you got some protesters out there saying that um yeah yeah they, you're not they're, they're scared of you they fear for their life and you know if you come home and that's that can go on to life it says 60 years from like how old is eric holden is he already in his 30s yeah <laughs> about like 40 even if it's 40, 60 years where he going, goddamn, he going to hold him. He be about like 90 something when he even come up for parole. And then after they hit him with all them um, stipulations and, um, uh, um, what's the motherfuckers called when you get your paper? Oh, yeah. Set there it is. <laughs> set offs. A set off can last, goddamn me, um, uh, um, uh, up to five years. You know, yeah. I, I was used to a year set. I was happy in the motherfucker. When I see the nigga coming up one day and tell me, shit, I got a five year set. I said, what? A five year set off, nigga? Nigga, my heart started hurting for him. My heart started hurting for him because yeah. that damn me, uh. <laughs> nigga, I'm, I'm, on, I'm doing a five year set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> damn. Nigga, I'm, I'm looking at nigga like, shit, I can get away from this nigga right here. No, he mad in the motherfucker. He's already been here 15 years already. Yeah. Nigga, what? No, and then my dumb ass, you know, one thing in the penitentiary where I kept it 1,000 on, you know, and, and, I, and, I, and when I finally uh, decided to break the ice on it, it fucked over me, uh, was to ask the nigga how much time he had. But one thing about Eric, man, uh, Eric got a lot of time on his hands. A lot of hard time, because we already seen a nigga black his eye when he was locked up. Yeah. You got a black eye? You came in, we came in the club with a whole motherfucking shiner? Nigga, you got a shiner? Cause you got a whole black motherfucking rockety raccoon. Uh. Man, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Uh. Do you think he'll make it out? Shit, he gotta make it in first. Mm. Uh, it's gonna take five years for you to get in. <laughs> Shit. That mean when you get in the system, I mean get to know your surroundings, get to know what the fuck going on around you. It'll take up to five years, nigga. And my thing with him, like him, don't get comfortable, nigga. All the paperwork you fill out won't work no more when you get down there. 
You, I need this. I'm trying to feel out for they gonna be doing your shit like this. Nigga, we don't have it, cuz. This ain't the county jail. Get your ass in your cell. Be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> One thing he got to learn down there, um. Know my brother. You gotta do your own time. Yeah. Shit. That's what's up on it. You gotta do your own motherfucking time. One thing you gonna learn down there, don't nobody give a fuck cause you down there, cause we down here too, nigga. Fuck you mean? You got a murder, you know how I many murderers in there? Shit. He think he gonna get special privileges cause he goddamn me killed who he killed. Well, a life is a life. It don't matter who the fuck you kill. You yeah. dig what I'm saying? Everybody's life is important. Should nobody do less of time than the motherfucker doing life? I swear to God, man. I mean, I don't swear to God. I, I mean, I promise to God that I wish it could be a life for a life. I probably be dead by now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank God for his forgiveness. I ain't never killed nobody. Niggas just been trying to kill me, and that's the truth, y'all. For decades and centuries, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from here, to, from years to history, you understand? But um. Uh, every, every, every got a long road ahead of him. Uh, due to the curse that he put on his back. Due to the curse he put on his back. Due to the curse that um, uh, uh, he can't wipe that blood off his hands like that. Um, God is the only one can cleanse you, my brother. Oh, don't, don't try to go get saved now, nigga. <laughs> nah, nah, don't, don't, don't go running to the Bible now, nigga. Don't try to hide behind the book. Um, religion, because pretty soon, um, we'll see him going through that phase. Yeah. Um, this is one thing you got to realize that, uh, Eric, that, uh, it ain't nothing in the world you can do to bring that man back. That's what you need to realize. Right. And you need to think about that every motherfucking day you in there. Uh, to take a motherfucking life for that spirit to haunt you, it's going to take you a while. It take a while, and if you don't never cleanse your hands, if you don't never wash that blood off your hands, yeah. uh, it'll live, it, it, it'll follow you for the rest of your life. Uh, shit'll play back in your head like a motherfucking cassette tape. Uh, skip to you like a CD. You be like, God damn. Shit'll play so vivid back to you. You be like, no shit. You be like, what's wrong, cuz? I only know you know what the fuck you was thinking. Uh, ask me how I know. How you know? Cause I know, nigga. <laughs> Shit. I don't got no paperwork. He don't. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Boys, niggas. Yeah. But anyway, Eric, uh, salute to you. Congratulations. You. you made it to where you wanted to be. You put in the work, the hard work. You put it in. Now go enjoy the fruits of your labor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go enjoy that. Uh, 60 years of it. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. That's a lot of labor. Oh, fruit is spoiled. Fruit ain't no good. Yeah. Unless you planted it yourself, nigga. Oh, I forgot you did. So all you can do is enjoy it, nigga. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> okay, so um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So R. Kelly receives 20 years, man. Um he's eligible. Mm. For parole, man, probably around about the age of 86. Um, man, I know, I know you're a fan, man. I know you're a fan of R. Kelly. Oh um, my God! Like, I mean, I gotta slow down. <laughs> yeah, cause he, he he gonna be he gonna be uh, writing home with a coloring coloring paper and a crayola. Yeah, um, that vanilla art paper. Yeah, for sure. With the big crayola. Yep. Well, it goes to show you, you can't have your, sometimes you just have your cake, not your ice cream with it. You hear me? Yeah. Kind of you just have your cake, man. Uh. Damn, Art. Yeah. Man, just to think about all the stuff that he's been convicted on, man, is crazy, though. Like, you know, like, could we sit back, we. We fans, you know, we listening to the music, we listen to R. Kelly for years, and then you hear him being, you know, you're like, damn, some shit you just can't believe. You're like, damn, because we know, we seen the video. I got a video right over there. I keep my R. Kelly. Oh, man. <laughs> I stay on my R. I stay on the R. You hear me, huh? Shit. Uh, R. going to prison because he let people in his private life. 
Uh, I, I don't agree with some of the shit he was doing, but hell, everybody freaky. See, you're. I, I look at I look at all type of porn. She don't give a fuck who on there. You heard? Me? I'ma watch it. <laughs> That's yeah. me. Uh. I see art going to prison for shit I see on porn sites every day. I don't see nobody getting locked up. Go back to say it's cool when they do it. It's just a problem when I do it. You dig what I'm saying? Cause I swear to God, the same thing he being prosecuted for, I see worse shit. I see motherfuckers shitting on motherfuckers, pissing the motherfuckers mouth, rubbing shit all on all type. It's all it's on the internet. You can look at it right now. For free. I gotta look up just say say disgusting porn. Say some shit like that. It, it, and all type of shit'll pop up on there. Art wasn't doing half the shit they doing. They getting paid, you know, they get they showing it. On the internet like it ain't nothing. Uh, I'm trying to say, but it's cool when they do it. But it's a problem when he do it. Some of the shit he in there for, he deserved to be in there for if that's what he was doing. Yeah. I ain't talking about the porn shit. I'm talking about the, the shit that he was doing with the little kids. I'm talking and about. He was under age. You know, these kids like probably you know, 12, 11 years old, you know, 13 oh, years old. Oh, God damn. I, I know what with that far then. How far? You know. <laughs> damn. It, 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 he, these kids he had, he, you know, they grown now. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, uh, yeah, I got a problem with that part. Yeah. Oh, most definitely that. Nigga, cause, um, you can mentally manipulate a motherfucker to death at that age. And you being the R. Yeah. That's God, damn. Was, people came out on the stand and said he was real abusive. Yeah, I believe that because if he was real freaky, they'd have been saying that. That's the part I'm talking about. Yeah. That's the part he ought to pay for. Uh, the other extra shit, the, the extra, 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 extra shit. <laughs> All the extra shit, that's his business. Yeah. Uh, but the extra shit he was doing on top of the extra shit, uh, that's not good business. Nah, homie, uh, you don't you don't mistreat nobody like that, you know, because at that point, and I and I can see, you know, um, everybody ain't gonna lie on no one person. You hear me? Somebody gonna come out and say, nah, man, he, man, he wasn't doing that. Now I was there. Now I, I let him do this. I let him do that, and they did too. And we all was just, but um, if everybody say he was, you know, so hey, motherfucking wanna fish you and shove shit down your fucking throat and, and right. sodomize you with bats and sticks and beat. Right. So, so Come on you, now, cuz. Yeah. You, and you just 13 and 11 and 12 and shit. Yeah, you, yeah. You gotta go, homie. You gotta go, nigga. No, no, I, I'm not with the sick shit. I'm not with the sick shit. I'd rather stick into the um, the pervert. I stay, I stay in the perv section. <coughs> the perverted section. I stay in that section. But I'm not gonna go to the sick section. No, yeah. that's sick. Uh. Um, and it really mean it. And it really mean it. And do shit like that. And really mean it. That's not a good look right there, homie. Yeah. That's 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 um that's your society right there. That that no nah, that shit no. Nah. But but I do agree that a motherfucker shouldn't have waited that long. A motherfucker kicked me. I'm a year ouch. Motherfucker step on my face. Oh, oh god damn. Some bitch stepped on my goddamn toe, ho. I'm gonna say something. I ain't gonna say nothing 10 years later. Oh shit, I felt that. What happened? Man, nigga. Remember five years ago, nigga stepped on my motherfucking toe. Yeah. I just felt that shit. What happened other times you stepping on it? You must want to feel it. Cause you ain't say shit about it. I'm like that nigga, tell her tells a tell tell, snitching it all the time, how motherfuckers been telling shit like that. Y'all yeah. know how many granddaddies and uncles and, and, and nephews and people locked up behind motherfuckers? Oh! <laughs> Gee, I was going there, look mama, look. God damn, what happened to you, uh, Uncle Johnny was in there last night? Yeah. They gonna tell it on you. Cause guess what? Everybody ain't gonna be quiet. Yeah. Uh, when shit like this happening, y'all gotta make it make sense, man. Uh.
When shit like this happening, that's why I'm, oh, we going down one day. I swear to God, we <laughs> yeah. roll out, cuz. Yeah. Shit like that. Uh, anyway, uh. When shit like that happen, uh. I got some, I know, I know, I know the real scream loud as E motherfucker. Help! Goddamn, what's wrong? You no. Know, I know a lot, I know the best, let me, let me, let me give girls uh, a little, um. A little um protection, uh, how you say uh, how you say rules on what to do when um shit like that happen around you, and to stop it from happening. Cause a lot of y'all, I see they play the game. I just didn't say nothing for five years. Nah, damn. Yeah. Nah, it don't go that. It don't go that way. You understand me? Let me give y'all the best rule for people that want, you know, you don't got to go through no classes. You don't yeah. got to go through no no coaching or no karate kicks. Let me show you how to protect yourself. Right off the first time somebody come to you like this. Stop! Oh shit. That's, that's better than all along. You feel a motherfucker creeping down your leg. You see him feeling on touch. Then touch something. As soon as you say stop. Loud. Hey stop! Shit. That, that, that's the worst alarm. A motherfucking uh, motherfucker will take out running like he heard. I like hear a burglar and somebody pulled up. Yeah. You hear him? <laughs> that part. And I swear I don't see how that phone ring and I took the goddamn battery out the bitch. <laughs> I swear to God, what the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, damn, okay. God damn. Oh, y'all yeah, know what that means. Confirmation. That works every time. <laughs> Stop will be your number one answer, y'all. It's always a confirmation when that phone ring. Nah. God damn me. Uh, a message that's just been delivered. We ca we're gonna call that mail. <laughs> uh. Uh, sad to say, um, we seen it coming, we knew it was coming, and I told y'all it was coming. They gonna make an example out of the R. I told you they let Bill go, we got the R. Didn't I tell y'all that? Yeah. Hello! Yeah, uh, right here on Diamond Stone, y'all go back and look in the, the Diamond Stone Dictionary Library. Um, you will find that story where I told y'all about the uh, R. Kelly thing when he broke the ice on there and we said, I told you in the in the end, they let Bill go. Bill was too old, going blind yeah. shit, you he know. They ain't gonna take R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we take R. Kelly instead. Yeah. And, and guess what they did? We got R. Kelly. They just give him, they took him. Okay. That's a wrap. That's a wrap for R, man. Uh, R tried to tell us years ago they finna fuck over me, yeah. Yeah, because you let them in. Mm. Once you let them in the system, they kill you off and you do your life behind bars, nigga. You let them in. Now, who let this motherfucking... You, you too much information. Yeah. You know too many people and you will tell it. We already seen how you get down. And you get to tell it on big dictators and, and people that go... The little lounges y'all go to. That you see, you know, your buddy-buddy card that y'all got. Where y'all do the same thing to the same people and the same kids and you know the same people. And they know that you know what they know, so no. <laughs> Who the fuck let you in anyway? No, hell no. We can't we can't risk him. Can't risk him. He's he, 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 yeah. You gonna be sitting like that that TV right now. That's how you looking right now. Look at that TV down. That's yeah. how I looking right now. I know. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's over, R. It's over with, man. Uh, that's how he looking right now. And that's how he'll be looking when he come home. <laughs> you need to show that picture, man. Whenever you got that, me drop this video. And that's square bit. <laughs> that's the R right there. And that's all I can say for him, man. Uh, no more free to R. Uh. Well, y'all need to get down there. Y'all got a good, good, good singer coming to the um, gospel to the um, to the jail choir. Yeah. Y'all be having some good church down there pretty soon. That's the only place to get to sing in the heavenly choir now. <laughs> Damn, R, I ain't laughing at you. But uh, I'm going to be up there on the mountaintop somehow, you know, down there in the, in, in the trenches, man. I'm just trying to see what God got for me. Um, and I know if I keep doing what I need to do, I, I can't, you know, I'd rather be broken, don't have nothing. Than have all the money that y'all got and, and lose my soul and my freedom. Hello. Goodbye. So, uh, I don't know if you heard recently, man. Uh, Honeycomb Brazy, man. Uh, you know he 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 been hitting the internet. You know he's pretty been upset with Jay Prince and them. 
Uh, mm. You know, he recently unfollowed them on um, Instagram. Hmm. And uh, then he came out and he had said that, you know, even about the chain, he said, you know, he basically, and, and, and one, and, and, and one shell, he was basically saying that, you know, I'm, I'm not wearing nobody else's shit. On right, my right, neck. right, right. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. And then out of nowhere, he gets sent to the hole. So right now he's on lockdown. This manager even came out and said, look, his manager came out and said, uh, man, I, I got to stop acting like, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's, he basically said that he's posting for him. But in reality, we done seen, we done seen Honeycomb. He was on live at the rig, hitting weights, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's been too many pictures and shit like that coming from the prison. You know what I'm saying? He out in the yard with it. Throwing it up, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Just tending on himself. Tending on himself. And the manager don't make it no better. <laughs> man, uh, what's your thoughts on it, man? Um, that just that whole situation. Uh, he got, a, he got, a, he got, a, he got a whole legit reason to be upset. And for the reason he is upset, uh, one thing I can say about Honeycomb, man, I, I, I got to give him his card on keeping it 100. Right. As a real nigga, uh, he ain't let nobody Tupac him. Mm. You hear me? Yeah, that's why I respect him. That's why I respect him as an artist. Uh, not cause Jay Prince in hot water right now as we speak. Not cause of that. It's been because he uh, he ain't let nobody hold him as yeah. a manager. Uh, you won't get to sugar night him. Yeah. He ain't gonna play Tupac. He ain't gonna let you, you know, hang him over a motherfucking cliff. And, and, and dare to drop his ass down and shit like that, huh? He called it how he see it, and when he started seeing it for what it was, he started speaking on it. Wait a minute, man, you niggas on some hoe shit. Wait a minute, now, nah, nigga, this ain't how this shit supposed to go. Honeycomb, no, shit ain't how it's supposed to go, and he speak on it. Cause this ain't how this supposed to go. This shit brazy, nigga. This shit right here, brazy in a motherfucker right now. This shit, uh, hell nah, man. Cause now, now you all finessing this nigga the same way y'all finessing. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you know, the finesse game is square bit. When you finesse yeah. you know, you, you know, that means you, you playing fast. You know what I'm saying? We call finessing in the street. Shout out to finesse four times. They probably finesse you, I mean, two times or three times. How many times they yeah. finesse them? Finesse Shout out this time. That part. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that probably went over y'all head. Because when they start finessing, nigga, you'll see it. Uh, niggas come out looking like they ain't shit. When they get stuff from this, some niggas, you no, know, they, you no, know, they step up. They get they um. Everybody get to wear they um. They little lab uniform. That mean you niggas sign with the devil. You know, over, over this way. Uh. Once you sign with them folks, your video change. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we can tell when you you doing hood videos. We can tell when you to sign with the folks. Understand me? When you got the umbrella. Hello. When you see the gray car in the background. <laughs> well, see him sitting there with the great car. Yeah, that part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we see him when they. Um, sometimes you know, you know, they step their game up. They look like they're working in a laboratory. Um, you know, that's a whole scientific. Uh, another part of the ball game when it comes to the videos. Check them out too. Check out everybody that had to do a laboratory. Um, video they ain't got shit to do with the song. Um, that shit started way back with Dr. Dre and Fifty Cent. Y'all remember Fifty Cent was up there? Catch me in the club, bottle full of thugs, didn't have shit to do with what he was doing, but he was on his, remember he was on his motherfucking thing, and, yeah. and, um, and um, Dr. Dre had the lab Upside shirt, down. yeah, hello, yeah. and Dr. Dre had the lab uniform on, they, yeah, they, 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 they go to all of them, um, yeah, did y'all remember the baby, the baby had his video, he had the, the doctor thing on, you understand me, you know, everybody go through their lab and their research, they got a lot of shit that you can see in the videos as uh, they progress in the system, that they had to make certain videos and know this is who I'm associated with and this is who I ain't associated with. You know, they, they got it bad to turn in the eyes red. Yeah. That's another one that you always got to look out for. They always do something like this and make their eyes turn red, real red. Um, like just real red. And you'll see it, but it'll never come on for a long time just for a split second. I ain't seen Lil Wayne do it. I ain't seen a lot of them do it. Uh, Lil Wayne's the master of it. Uh. No shit. Yeah. What he do here, huh? Then they eyes turn red. All of them did it. The baby, look at the baby videos. That's another symbol. That's another um, sign. I've been the hey. I don't know shit. Don't listen to me. I don't got no GED or a uh, diploma. Don't listen to me. Just um, pay attention to me. 
You hear me? Yeah. Uh, and that's what I do. I don't listen to nobody. I pay attention to what I see. I pay attention. When I see what's going on, I'm doing more pay attention than I do, you know, talking and listening. I'm, I'm doing a lot of goddamn shit. I'm like diamond shit. My eyes don't lust me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to watch because I ain't missing shit. Uh, man, I see goddamn, what was that, a bug, a roach? <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> I see that. You hear me shit? What was that, a mosquito? <laughs> yeah. You hear me shit like that? You got me fucked up. The best thing to do is be observing what's going on around you, man. Uh. Yeah, but, um, but in the end, it's all the same thing. Everybody's on the same game. But anyway, um, Honeycomb, uh, I appreciate him, man, for um, standing up for himself. Yeah. For being a man for itself, uh, calling a cat a cat and a dog a dog, uh, fuck what everybody else say. When a real nigga talk, uh, I believe I believe in Honeycomb. What he got, he he ain't rolled on nobody. Uh, he was snitched on. He didn't, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Somebody had to tell it on him for him to be where he at. Y'all y'all feel that? Yeah. Somebody had to tell it on him for him to be where he at. Uh, so um, I rock with him. But he got his eyes open to a lot of good shit since he been there. See, he don't take nothing. He ain't talking like the other niggas that we was talking about earlier. Just in there talking about he coming home and, 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 and gonna be worse than he was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, people like Honeycomb, he a wise man from the jungle. You're like, God damn, because how the hell I end back up in here? Yeah. Damn, I just got out this bitch here. You hear me? Sitting up this motherfucker. God damn, cuz. This ain't what that is. Damn, I was just rapping about having finesse, you know, capping on finesse, and you traded places with him. That's how the system works. Can't have two of y'all out here at the same time. Shit, no. That's a disaster. Uh. Jay Prince is a very, very, very nice chess player. Quiet chess player. He don't say shit on the chessboard. Well, he used to, you know, didn't say shit on the chessboard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, when niggas start talking during the game, that mean your game getting sloppy. Yeah. Let's play some chess. When niggas start talking during the chess game, let me get y'all chess, chess. Only chess players know this. Uh. And, and shout out to o, OG Percy and um, Diamond Stone, because I swear, no, I don't care what nobody say. Yeah. Y'all are not going to take this trend from me and Diamond. Uh. <laughs> we started the chess talk. Yeah. Got that from the chess, nigga. Yeah. We started the chess talk. I don't care what nobody say. I started the chess, and I and I appreciate every time I'm looking up now. I see I see more brothers. You know, you know. I see a lot of this on the, on, on interview. I see this sitting around a lot of tables now. Niggas weren't even talking about this. Niggas were talking about dominoes. Yeah. Niggas were talking about tonk. Niggas talking about some spades. <laughs> Niggas talking about some uno. Y'all gonna go play some uno? Hell no! Now I'm seeing I'm seeing more of this now. I'm really seeing more of this, man. But um, yeah. Shout out to um to that man right there. He um Jay Prince played a very very quiet game of chess. Um, uh, moves can be made. You know, you know, you know. He he's better not being seen, but he 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 he's a, he's a, he's a, he's worse than being heard. You understand when he when he being heard, um, you in trouble. Yeah. Uh, Jay Prince always had his um chessboard set up nice. Uh, when he can make moves and get the chain back for you, y'all get that boy back that chain. Uh, not tomorrow, today. Yeah. And I don't want to have to say that no more. And that's how he say things. <laughs> and shit, twenty four hours the chain is back. Hello! Did y'all catch my J Prince was? Did I get it in there, man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the J Prince we know. Yeah, and things happen. Y'all get over there, you know. I'm tired of honeycomb. Every time I look up, it's a post being made. Um, y'all see if y'all can find him some shade. Alright then. Honeycomb, pack it up, you being moved. We said, well, we're gonna start it. <laughs> she ain't did nothing. Yeah. Uh, somebody walked in the living room, took the top off the lamp, 
and threw it across the motherfucking room. Yeah. Might have walked in that motherfucker, took the top off the lamp, and just chunked it across the motherfucking room. That's what he did. You know what that mean? Niggas love throwing shade. <laughs> Boys, y'all gonna see. Niggas love throwing shade on niggas. You hear me? Yeah. That's the only shade you got to cover up with. You hear me? Yeah. Nigga on the living room, take the top off the lamp and throw it across the room. Nigga love throwing shade on niggas. Uh. Y'all gotta be careful how y'all play with the prince. Uh. He's the only piece in the chessboard that ain't on the chessboard. <laughs> oh, I like that, but that's gonna go a lot of y'all here. Shout out to Jay Prince. I ain't took nothing from him yet, cause I can't. Um, wisdom and knowledge go a long way, uh, and everybody's human. Uh, meaning sometimes some people just gotta kiss themselves before they fall. He ain't failed yet, uh, because he ain't did nothing to fall. Yeah. Uh, People around him are um, making things fall. Honeycomb um, is just a part of the, you know, he just, I might not want to hear this, but he's just a pawn on the board. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's been, it's been plenty of pawns. I got, and he got Willie D's, he got Scarface, he got um, this on the board, that on the board, UGK pieces, all type of pieces on his chess board. Um, but he's the only piece on the board that's not, a fish on the board. You got all kinds. You got nice rooks, castles, um, bishops, but you don't. You got even got a king and a queen. Well, guess what? You don't got on the board. Yeah. That make you stand out from the rest, Jay Prince. If you catch this, you don't have a prince on the board. <laughs> yeah. That's how we know you're a powerful piece. The only the only piece that's been made that ain't on the board, but the most powerful is piece. That's the prince. You got the kings, the I know it down. That's so fucking deep right there. I knew I was gonna I just had I just, just you know reel y'all into this a little bit. Uh letting you know, man, you are a unique piece, man, and stay that way. Uh we love we love I shit, I can't turn my back shit. I done been yeah, my mama didn't cuss me out before and been wrong. That's cool. Don't mean I don't love her. Yeah. Shit. You ain't got on my ass before. That, that don't mean I don't love her. Uh, same thing with Jay Prince. The world got love for Jay Prince, man. Uh, sometimes we be in the wrong. You see, we just come back and hey, we just make it right. One thing about Prince, he, it's not too late to make it right. One thing about Prince, uh, he's a special piece. Uh, he can make it right whenever he get ready to make the move. <laughs> Cause anything about that Prince, we don't know how that Prince move. We don't. It's the only piece on the board we. Ain't, Ain't been created yet, so yeah, that piece can move any type of way it want to, probably. Yeah, uh, uh, it's cold when you ain't got an invisible piece on the chessboard, and that's the one that's doing all the thinking. That's the prince. You hear me? Uh, we the one do the moving. <laughs> yeah, that part. Uh, for y'all to know chess, I'm gonna let that sink in, and, and you gotta think deep, cause chess is a deep game. You understand me? It's a game of life. And when you make a move like Prince, and you can make a move whenever you get ready to make one, and uh, that move is always sufficient. Let's say, let's say the Prince is um, mightier than the King and the Queen on the chessboard. Whatever it move, he can move, and it's an official move. Yeah. Uh, same thing with J Prince. Whenever he say something, he say something. He might make a move and get niggas moved. <laughs> Ask Honeycomb. Yeah. It's an official move. <laughs> uh, Ask him where he at right now. That part. Yeah. That was an official move. <laughs> Down there, you're doing too much. Hey, man, y'all, um, one thing about Prince and the judicial system, he been on shit. That's been under his wing. Shit. He been having people, so many people locked up under his, um, daycare. <laughs> uh, not under his name. That's it, daycare. You understand me? Um, because he done ran a big ass daycare. He didn't sponsor, he didn't had a lot of people come through his label. Man, what happened to Tila and Mr. No, I was just thinking about that. Shout out to Tila, man. It just came across my mind. Tila and Mr. Mike. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, just had a flashback. Jay Prince, man, um, stay up, honeycomb. Y'all get it together. Y'all two both powerful pieces on the board. But honeycomb, don't never think that you um you ain't been gone long enough. Uh, you ain't been in the game long enough, but 
You've been in the game long enough to know real when you see it and bullshit when you hear it. Yeah. I salute the honeycomb, man. You know, shout out to the prince, man. Nice move. Um, okay. So let, let's talk about it, man. Uh, you did a lot of state time, right? Mm-hmm. So let's do it like this. State versus feds. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Which one? I ain't going to say which one is worse and I like it. Okay. But, you know, when it comes down to state versus fed, man, um, you know, it is, is it, which, which one is, which one is the, I ain't going to say which one is the one to be in, because a nigga don't want to be in there on one. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right, for sure. But which one, which one go harder though, you know what I'm saying? See, you know, uh, when, you, when you're in the state, I just feel like this, uh, the feds is a cakewalk. It's cakewalk in the feds, man. Niggas, them niggas, uh, compared to the state, uh, the state is a slave camp. Uh, the state take you back to, uh, 400 years of oppression. <laughs> yeah. The state is still ran like that. They ain't never changed its way of running. And it never will. And they don't have to. It works for them. Shit. <laughs> That's all they know. Uh, and, and, it, and, it, and it's been working for them for years, decades, and centuries. They're not gonna change the way they do their shit. Uh, the feds, more comfortable. Uh, that's mafia time. That's mafia time. State, slave time. Yeah. Uh, one thing about the feds, you just gotta prepare yourself. That's where you gonna live for the rest of your life, nigga. You hear me? Mm. They gonna take a whole chunk out your ass. <laughs> you go that motherfucker there. Yeah. yeah. State, parole. We're gonna go home, cuz. We ain't shit. I'm gonna get, get my parole from the. You know what I'm saying? I got a parole thing coming up, shit. Fed? I mean, more months, you got 972 more months. God damn. Add it up. Yeah, that nigga, uh, 80, 87 months. My son just got 87 months in the feds. I said, now what the fuck is that? He said, Dad, this man is like seven and a half. God damn. Hey, y'all be quiet. You got seven and a half months and 87 and God dang. So yeah, dad just gave me 87 in the feds. Damn, son. Uh. Whether you know it or not, I don't know if you're going, this is so thin. I don't know if it's a motherfucking thousand of youth around this motherfucker somewhere. But uh, if not, nigga, I won't be here when you get home. Yeah. People don't look at shit like that. I do. That shit haunts me. You yeah. hear me? Uh. State, I got a chance of making it. Shit. Parole, every nine months I'm coming up, goddamn me. I may not make it this time, but I got it the next time. If I don't make it the next time, shit, don't worry. Uh. They gonna hit me three times on parole. I'm gonna see that bitch and I'm going home. I'm gonna discharge, take this bitch to the door. I'm going home. Yeah. Fed. Uh. You, you gotta sit there and figure that. Them niggas gonna be old and great when they come to the motherfucking house. Uh, we just had a um, birthday party for um, Billy Ray Maddox. Uh, he just turned 85 years old. My brother, um, um, they hosted this birthday thing at the turkey den another day. And that motherfucker looked like um, when you walked in that hole, <laughs> looked like it was coming to America. Yeah. And I'm telling that motherfucker, you couldn't even tell that motherfucker was a restaurant. I'm like, God damn, who did all this shit? You hear me? Add that motherfucker, and that's a big place to decorate. And whoever did that, didn't waste, didn't even, didn't, didn't leave a corner out. Uh, for that 85th birthday, man, that man celebrated uh, a nice birthday. Saying this to say this, uh, shout out to that man because he made it home. Yeah. I rock Peter E.C. Douglas. Uh, uh, he didn't make it home. <laughs> Shit. Uh. I brung his name up because that was his fall partner, not in, not not in the same case, in the same wise, but um, going through the same thing at the same time in the hood. Um, two niggas that ran everything when it came down to the drug ring down this way, but um, Billy Ray made it out. Um, uh, EC he died in there. Um, uh, shout out to the niggas in the state, all of them that came home. <laughs> yeah. That's what state time is like, and that's what fed time is like. Uh, the niggas in the state been home, them niggas drive trucks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
Nigga working on that, that type of shit. Them niggas got their CDLs, man. Yeah. Shit, them niggas like, hey, what, what kind of shit, man? What boy, your boy? Oh, you know, you still in the feds. Yeah. Mm. Still in the feds? Damn. How long you been home? I've been home 13 years now. God, where your boy at? Oh, uh. You still in the feds. <laughs> oh, it's the difference between that state time and that fed time. Uh. I had a partner. Shout out to my nigga Tells my crib. I was on Ferguson one time with my nigga on um, Head Dog. Yeah. And Head Dog was a real blood nigga. He on um, out of Eastwood. He had a stop city, um, bloodhead, man. That's my nigga. Y'all go check out my boy. Uh, he just came home. He just made it home. But when we was on Ferguson, I was the first blood nigga ever told me some real shit. Say, person, keep your head on, man. Say, man, uh, the nigga real sarcastic when he talked all the time. Blood nigga always talking all fly and shit. Uh, but he always was on point. Uh, I could never beat the nigga in the chest. Motherfucker be like, shit, man. I don't know. Shit, I don't know what you did that for, nigga. Take, snatching my pieces and shit. Fuck, nigga, doing snatching my goddamn pieces. But anyway, that blood nigga told me one time, he said, man, do you think these crip niggas do the same thing in here that you doing for them? I'm saying that to say this, uh, it took a nigga like that to open my eyes to the real shit sometime. But he told me one thing when he went in the day room. I said, cuz, you know, we said, he said, cuz, I can't do this shit no more. We done for, I said, what you mean? He said, cuz, I'm, 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 I'm going to the feds next time. I said, nigga, this nigga crazy in the mouth. I said, cuz, you know, you know, just like he'll do me, uh, cause he was real sarcastic and he made sure that his, his game was flyer than mine. He always had something fly to say. But, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I uh, respect the nigga mine because the nigga all had some fly ass smart shit to say because the nigga read a million books a day. Yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah. He, picked, he be like, Cuz, you ought to still read that book? <laughs> Cuz, leave me alone. Let me finish my book. But anyway, he said, uh, I learned one thing through here, man. Uh, he said, man, these niggas, you want, these niggas want to do the same thing that you do for them that, you, uh, that they do for you. I said, yeah, bro. He said, nah, cuz they won't. But I learned one thing off of Bloodhead. Uh. He said something that hurt my feelings. He said, man, I'm going to the feds next time I come home. I said, you doing what? He said, yeah, I'm going feds next time. I said, what you mean? You ain't, got, you ain't even got out of prison here yet. You haven't even got out of prison here yet. And you already talking about coming back? I mean, who do that, head? He said, yeah, because when I get out this time, I'm finna go get a whole bunch of money. He said, because I can't do state time no more. But I was like, damn, uh, young blood, you don't want to do no fair time either, shit. Yeah. But who the fuck be in prison say that I'm coming back? Yeah. I mean, I ain't never seen a nigga get and do that. I got out, head got out. Remember when head went home? Caught head in the street. Uh. He had a Rose Master and the, um, uh, the tires on that motherfucker was thin as this phone. <laughs> yeah. With some rims on that motherfucker. And I was like, is that motherfucker on the ground? He said, nah, them skin is wrapped up, man. But I say, when he, he, had a, he had a car seat. He said, I told you what I was going to do when I came home. Look at him like, that damn, homie. I see you. He said, yeah, I told you. Come home, give me a whole bunch of money. I said, God damn, well, this car saying that you got too much money. Yeah. Whatever you doing, nigga, slow down. Nigga, this car saying you got too much money. That motherfucker all the way, that bitch flush. He said, oh, no, I got two or three of these. And he said, he said, I got two or three of these. This ain't shit, you know, and he looked, that's his thing. Shout out to, shout out to head. He was very sarcastic with his swag, you know. Yeah. He gonna cap. He loved to cap. That was his game. Uh, he was a gambler, and he loved to cap, he loved to gamble, he loved to cap. But, um, cold thing about it, he did exactly what he said. Next time I heard from Fit, uh, big homie, he got hit by the feds. Caught him at the motel room, caught him in the room, and feds ran in on him at the room. Um, not hustling at the room, the, the houses he had. That, but that's where they picked him up, at the room. Everybody kept saying, you know, head got hit, the feds got hit. I said, no, hell no. I said, yeah, the feds can't got him at the motel room. Head? What was he doing at the motel room? She you ducked out some little female or something, but that's where the feds came and picked him up at. Uh, shout out to my nigga head, he went and did that time. Uh, my nigga's at the halfway house right now over there on, um, 
in the party right there at the halfway house. Huh? He just came home. No more free head. Shout out to my nigga Hawthorne. Okay, okay, okay. Back on feet. Stay home this time, nigga. God damn. Yeah. My God damn. But he said, we gonna do we gonna do something. Make a whole bunch of money. Go do my time. Come on, why I ain't have to go get it. make no money no more. He said, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go do my time. I'm gonna stack me a whole bunch of money. Do my time. And when I come home this time, I'm gonna have to make no more. He said, that's what I, that was my plan. And I seen that man do that. Uh, my boy's at the halfway house right now, and uh, he ain't one for a motherfucking thing, you hear me? Yeah. Uh, so when he came and got him, they got what they could, but they didn't got what they need. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he said, what they got, he said, I can afford to lose. What I kept, that's what I needed. You hear me? That was a smart nigga. Shout out to that nigga taught me chess. We used to play chess outside the penitentiary. When he be saying, my next door neighbor, I had to stick my hand out the ball. We set the, ch the chess board out there on the runway. All oh, y'all in prison know yeah. about that. You gotta sit outside the goddamn yeah, thing. No, no, cause we haven't been. But Yo, you see? Ah! Yeah, you no, see. you haven't. Yeah, 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 you you see? Oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay, you know, now. Just like this, just like this. Yeah. Ah! Hit <laughs> 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 that man. Hit that man. Hit that down. Uh, he right on point, man. He know what the fuck going on. Yeah. Well, I didn't have to play like that. You know, yeah, me and him play like that. Yeah. Man, I like it when I didn't have to, he already seen it. He, I didn't have to explain it to him. Yeah. I liked it. Well, anyway, uh, it was fire. Uh, that what me and him used to do. <laughs> that was my chest. And he kept me on my game. He used to run me high. Blood niggas run me high. Tell me I had a book over there, 21 laws of power or some shit like that he had. He told me I couldn't read it. He said, um, uh, he's just like my other, um, Sally that I had, um, Mohammed. And he gonna tell me that, um, oh, oh, you don't know nothing about this. And, and, and he's the high side, because he know I read one. Like, that nigga can read a book, like, like a fucking movie. Yeah. And he used to run me hot, cuz. I'd be like, damn, cuz. I wish I could read like this motherfucker here, man. Yeah. Man, I wish I could read like this nigga, man. Cause I know you not reading them pages that fast, nigga. And he said, oh, yeah, I'm through with this book. <laughs> nigga, you read that book that fast? No, me. I'm, first, you the slow one, bro. <laughs> them niggas been reading since they was in the kindergarten, nigga. <laughs> they been reading like that. They mama and them talked to me about reading. They were babies and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now I know I read. I was 24. Yeah. So, yeah, your shit still on film projector. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> them niggas, HD. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, man, the difference between that man, Head was a good nigga. He taught me 21 lines of power, man. He told me, man, step your game up, learn how to read. And he was a man of thinking. So, um, uh, to go along with that story, man, me and that nigga played chess. And he taught me how to keep my game tight. Yeah. And that's where I got it from a real nigga, man, uh, a blood nigga, heart on. Yeah. But fair to the state, I asked him when he came home. I talked to him a couple of weeks ago. I was like, damn, cuz, um. 48 you, hours. Yeah, four hours. 48. Well, 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 you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I told y'all I, 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 I couldn't read, man. I know I couldn't read. Diamond know I can't read. I know. I'm just... What is it, Diamond? It's 48 laws of power. With him, see. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, thank you, Diamond. No. Thank you, Diamond. No. Look, I, hey, that's what I got him for, shit. When I can't catch it, I be trying to sound the word out. He know the word. He the smart man. That's the Diamond. I'm just a uh, Cuban Sacconi. Y'all figure me out in a minute. But say, man, uh, on top of that, uh, yeah, Diamond, say, uh, the difference between the feds and the state, uh, really it ain't nothing because we all locked up. But really, uh, them niggas live in luxury, man. Yeah. Uh, the state is, 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 is slavery. It's slavery. Uh. Yeah. Feds, you get treated like prisoners. State, you get treated like offenders, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh. Feds, you get treated like inmates. <laughs> State, you get treated like offenders, nigga. I'm talking about they gonna stick to the rules no motherfucking regardless. Ain't nothing gonna change. I don't give a fuck what you try to write in and tell the motherfuckers. Them Confederate flag uniform wearing motherfuckers ain't gonna change. Nothing for now. Person. <laughs> Thought I was gonna say the N word. But now, now person. Yeah. Uh. They built that shit on rock and roll. <laughs> they built that city on rock and roll, man. Uh, and, and that's one thing. Uh, they ain't finna let y'all come take over. 
You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Rock and roll. Okay. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Uh -huh. Yeah. Real tough. It's time to rock. It's time to roll them boys up and bring them on in. Yeah. Roll them doors. <laughs> and go hit them rocks. Yeah. I'm going to y'all soak in there for a minute. Yeah. Cause that's really just going to get. Because that's how they play now. Yeah. That's how the system playing. That's how they been playing. But, um. Ain't nothing different between the feds and the state, but, but, but a waste of life. You hear me, Dom? Yeah. Everybody's locked up, they just wasting life, and every day that they losing them, in them places, they can't get it back. Every hour count, you can't get it back. Every day that you can't get it back, uh, uh, it's a day lost. Yeah. Uh, uh. That's how we have to look at it in reality. Uh. One thing about the safety of the feds, the feds is more comfortable. The state is punishment. Uh. The state don't want you to get it, don't want you to learn. You got more resources in the feds than you can get in the state. Uh, you got more benefits in the feds. You get to work and get paid. Them niggas get babysitted. Them niggas, you know, them niggas got a track to walk around. Mm. Who the fuck got a track, nigga? All the feds. Man, you ain't lying. God damn, us. We running around the fucking basketball court. Playing with a rubber motherfucking basketball with nine, ten lumps in the motherfucker. So you bouncing, bitch, you go that way because he hitting a lump and shit. That was the gig who we know. You go down there, these niggas got court leather and wood. Well, I'm going to go to the gym. Feds. Uh. One thing about the feds, they learn quicker. Uh. I heard you telling me, but I don't know if that guy's in the feds or not that we was talking about earlier, but. Uh, the, uh, we was talking about uh, you said he was locked up and uh, we discussed him earlier. Uh, I don't know if he in the feds or not, but uh, Honey, the one said he gonna come home worse than he was. Oh, you talking about uh, Pooh Shiesty? Yeah, he him. in the feds. Time. He in the feds? Yeah. Uh, he ain't been there long enough. Uh, he gonna catch on. One of the brothers gonna grab a hold of him. If they can't, uh, he just won't make it home. Yeah. Uh, he not bigger than the fear. There's more power in there. He just talking. That's internet talk. And that lets you know, uh, you can't put no fear in the streets. Because niggas don't believe you. You locked up. One thing I know, uh, a lot of niggas can say this and they'll bash with this. They tell niggas quick, man, they gonna talk shit because that nigga locked up. <laughs> but niggas do the same thing. They get locked up. They only talking shit because <laughs> they locked up. They locked up, yeah, yeah. Niggas on the outside. They doing the same thing about him. Oh, nigga locked up. Yeah, man, fuck that bitch ass nigga. Whole ass now would've whooped that nigga if he wouldn't went to jail. Oh. What he doing, Don? Yeah. He only talking shit, what? Because <laughs> yeah. that nigga locked up. Um, but they just like when them doors unlocked, them niggas don't know what to do. Just like a wild animal out the cage. Tales from a crib. I was in Dallas on Dawson Unit doing time one time when I was locked up back there with a crazy nigga that was insane. And I remember that nigga stayed back there a year and a half in solitary confinement because I stayed back there nine months. But on my nine months there, I watched him get released. Yeah. And so happened I happened to be at wreck this time when they released this man out the building. And I know one thing about this motherfucker, he was crazy. This bitch didn't have a lick in his motherfucking brain. And I watched the people let this nigga out of society. Yeah. When I let that nigga out that front door, I watched that nigga run across Dallas traffic. Non-stop. That bitch didn't even look down way to go across that street. You lucky he made it across that motherfucker. Saying that to say this, they're the type of people the that they they're the type of people that they let out in society, y'all. Yeah. They let them type of people out here. And them motherfuckers, yeah, that's when I was looking out the window, Dom. Yeah. Watched him run across that motherfucker. Yeah. I said, look at this motherfucker. But my thing is this. Them the type of people they letting out these boys and they'll let them right there in the street. They already know they'll come out there and kill one of you innocent people, uh, catch you with your groceries and your kids get in the car and come up and stab you and beat your brakes off for you just to steal your car. Yeah. Just to get to the other side of town. I just needed a ride looking ass. Yeah. That type of shit. Uh. Don't give a damn. He just don't know. He just got out of jail today. By the time he get wet up, go get on his first dip of water, smoke that motherfucker, he'll wake back up in jail again. With a horse of crime that he went in that motherfucker with the last time. But, um, that's what I feel on that, dime. That's crazy, man. Life gonna go on and niggas ain't gonna stop until they, um, uh, 
Everybody in the same box, you hear me? Yeah. Everybody in the same box. That's what they working on. Putting their, the sardine pack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sardine. That's what they working on. Down the sardine yeah. pack, man. Uh. Oh yeah, but um. Anyway, um. That's how the story in um. Feds and state, state and fed, prison and slavery. Uh, which one do you want? It's it's not a juggle, nigga. Don't start juggling the balls, cause um. Yeah. <laughs> motherfucker will end up landing in your mouth. Yeah. Oh no, homo. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga say juggling the balls. Don't drop nothing, cause they can end up in your mouth. No yeah. homo. Bars. <laughs> No, it wasn't. Yeah, it yeah. was, man. He said, you nigga juggling balls, man. He ended up falling in his mouth, man. Percy on some bullshit, man. <laughs> okay. Go, go down uh, rock, too. Okay, okay. so I, I never asked you, man, out of all the prison stories, man. Um, mm -hmm. What's one of, what's the, I, I got two in one question, look. Okay, what's okay. the worst thing you ever seen in prison, and then was it ever a time when you was in prison? Because I know you said you were doing your time day for day. Nigga, I'm doing me every day. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? This is what you said. Mm -hmm. So, when you in there, was it ever time where you came to a ride or you came to a fight or it was something that was going to be just like, damn, I'm ready to get the fuck up at this bitch. Like, I'm tired of this shit. Man, yeah. tell my crib. Yeah. Man, I was sitting there cell one time, you know, I, I be, um, being locked up is something you don't, you don't want to have to be going through to begin with. And, for, and then they have to deal with the shit that's inside the prison. It's just more bullshit, man. Yeah. You no. Know, nigga already sitting this motherfucker saying, God damn, cuz I've been this motherfucker for two years. Yeah. Three years. And then you walk in and ask motherfucker, cuz, how long you been here? I've been here, um, 18 years. Damn. My bad. <laughs> Go ask somebody else. That was fucked up. Yeah. Man, he must be here the longest. Yeah, yeah, cause, cause, cause how long you been here? I've been here 27 years. This nigga just say 27 motherfucking years? And nigga been in this motherfucker having none of these young niggas being alive. These niggas ain't 22. Damn, hmm. you been in here 27 years? Wrong nigga to talk to. Uh, a lot of niggas in that motherfucker, uh, been there so long, you don't want to deal with a lot of shit. Yeah. Me being there, you have to wake up to prison politics and niggas, uh, you know, it's been a lot of times I, I, I get up down and I don't, I don't, I'll be like, man, fuck this shit here, nigga. Uh, and it make me mad and mad. Uh, I'm already locked up. Uh, one more money, this motherfucker gonna have to kill me. And here it is, goddamn, I gotta do another two years, three years in this bitch. Come on, man. I'm mad every motherfucking day. I'm hurt. Hear these bitch ass niggas talking about, you know, this going on and this going. What was fucking me up in prison that on? Um, everybody conversation was about prison. What fucking me up in prison was every time I talked to niggas, I didn't want to hear what the fuck they got to say, nigga, because they been here. The niggas that had been here, I was trying to find out what, you know, what's up with them. Y'all y'all cool, but these niggas kept talking about prisons. What's going on down the hall? What's going on? Huh? Can I, then it dawned on me. Everybody been gone so long, this is all they know to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, it's real. I, shit you don't want to hear, shit you don't want to be involved in, that's what pisses me off. That's what made me didn't want to be there no more. Because everybody kept talking about this motherfucking place right here. Nobody lived outside the box. Every time a nigga start talking to me, a nigga talk about this put man come home with everybody. Yeah. Bitch ass nigga down no house, cuz. Yeah. Shit. Oh man, you don't need to fuck with that, that, that nigga over there doing some cuz. Say, man, I don't want to hear, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm locked up like everybody else, nigga. I don't want to hear about no niggas in here, cuz. We all got on the same motherfucking shit, be pissing me off down. They want to talk about, you didn't come to find out. Shit, that's how long they been gone. Their memories are gone. Yeah. This is all they know, person. Shit, what else they gonna talk about? They, they great ain't they, they, they ain't the brothers and sisters, they been gone away from years. Don't nobody write them, don't nobody come see them. Shit, you know, they was the bad actors in the street. They the ones that nobody fuck with. They burnt all their bridges before they got there and everybody don't fuck with them. They the ones been there so long that a family didn't died off on them. They don't know what to talk about. Nigga ain't been nigga ain't seen a Thanksgiving or Christmas in years with family. Them niggas sick in there. 
Yeah, it's a whole lot of shit that make me wake up, man, and I don't want to be here, dog. I just was out this motherfucker. Yeah. I used to turn goddamn me and face the wall, goddamn me, and stare at the goddamn wall. I wouldn't even be sleeping, nigga. I just sit there and just stare at that motherfucker, man. Damn, man, we should get out this motherfucker, man. And I just sit there and feel that old clay feeling ass wild, man. It's, tell this motherfucker, um, this motherfucker one way away from a motherfucking grave hole. And then it dawned on me when I was locked up one time. They said you knew you would end up dead or in prison. So I said to myself, this must be the closest I can get to death. Because this is what's next after this. You dig what I'm saying? Prison. After prison, it's death. If you don't abide by the rules, and death is coming no matter what you say, your life ain't here forever. Life ain't here forever for no damn motherfucker. You hear me? Nobody. Life don't love nobody. You don't got no love for you, because if it did, it'll stay here with you. But one thing I ain't seen a nigga here, it stay here yet. So, um, when it come down to living, you know, you on your own time. When it come down to doing time, uh, don't waste it. Doing time. Yeah. You feel me on that? That's how I feel about that diamond. Uh, some of the worst shit I never seen when I was in prison is niggas come to prison that's not mentally sane. Mm. The worst thing ain't tells from the crib. The worst thing I ever seen in prison is the retarded, the slow, the MHMR patients. That's in there how the system prey on the ones that don't even have their own thinking together. The prisons have they, they minds, they got a whole motherfucking MHMR block. It's the MHMR block? Yeah, down there, down the hall, yeah. If they move him to the MHMR block. What you saying? That the people already know that these people are certified and mentally retarded already? They got a block for them? And they in a place like this? Tell us from a crib what happens to an MHMR patient when he's locked up. Huh. Same thing happen to any motherfucker that get locked up. Uh. An MHMR patient, when they locked him up, it's just like a, a, a hyena running up on a, a, a wounded Bambi. Yeah. <laughs> Deer. Free food. A wounded, he can't move fast, but he's still alive. He good, good warm meat. And this motherfucker hungry. This bitch ain't eight or twenty years, fifteen years, and here go oh wounded. But yeah, MHMR patient. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to think for their motherfucking self. But these people throw them in the system. Uh, saying it to say this again, like I've been saying, the rules don't change <laughs> for nobody. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing to laugh at, is it? I know it, cause it ain't funny. It's for real. Uh, you got motherfucker running down that motherfucker with one leg. Bitch, you better find your way to the child. Huh? You found another way to do that crime because the system don't change for nobody. Yeah. Uh, I see motherfuckers in there take razors and just. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing I ever seen. That's what. I, everything. That's the worst thing I ever seen is a cuddle. It's a cuddle. Uh, shout out to my partner, man. My crib homeboy, man. <laughs> because I, I kept that nigga under my wing, man. Uh. Big, mental, retarded, strong motherfucker. A cutter. His arm looked like a fucking road map. From her starting up here with a thing, then he told me he been gone, he been there 19 years. I been there 19 years. Cuz, cuz, I fuck with you, cuz. Cuz, you the truth, cuz, I know it, but you better not touch me, big old, retarded, strong motherfucker. This nigga had hands like little Andre the Giant. You know, you just grab a nigga and break him for no reason. Uh, his attitude was so fucked up, he'll cut himself up. Uh, he said, Percy, man, come here, come talk to me. I never forget, I walked him by the cell one time. He said, Look out, Percy, what's up, man? Come talk to me, man. Now, this nigga right here. Big old porn, big old nigga porn desk with his little glasses on. And, he, and, he, and I, when he get around me, before I come in, I always seen the nigga sitting in there, he always look like he mad about something. You sit up to look like he just fucked up about something. Then I walk in, and he go, hey, person, what's up, man? Oh, good, come on, sit down, come, come ride with your boy. Yeah, I just make his day. You understand me? And I always seen him like that, but when I went around, I was seeing him this, and then, what wrong with this nigga? This nigga real crazy, the motherfucker. Then one day we went on lockdown, he told me, he said, man, no, no, you know, man, I be, you know, it's like a baby here, you know, when they go into they, man, I just can't take it, man, you know, just, man, you know, say, man, say, man, chill out, man, no, man, 
What? I, I just be, man, come on, man, chill out, cuz, don't, man, just say, don't come to the bars and holler at me, man, I'm just saying, man, I'm just saying, man, I'm just saying, man, come on, man, I got you, man, cuz, is this nigga chipping, if he for real? Oh, cuz, what the fuck is this nigga doing, cuz? Hey, yeah, let me get the mirror. Let me look on the mirror. God, yeah, come on, cuz. Look out, God, get the laws down here, man. Come on, cuz, chill, cuz. Oh, man. He's it's the worst thing I ever seen in prison. That was the worst thing I seen. Blood motherfucking everywhere, cuz. My nigga arm um, looked like spaghetti was hanging out this nigga motherfucking arm. Um. Like they just shredded this shit up. Then was cuss that had already been on top of cuss that he had been doing it for years on top of other cuss that he been doing it. And I came out there, motherfucker rapped that. He came up in the cell and he was just, uh, he rapped next door. And I'm like, God damn, cuz. Man. And he walked out telling me he was sorry. I, I told him, and I had to, you know, I had to act like I don't know what he told about. Cause a lot of like, what, what you do to him, Demerson? <laughs> Nothing. What he tell you sorry for? I don't, man. I don't know, man. Cause he my partner. Yeah. He, he feel like he let me down. Cause now he finna get moved. I ain't gonna see him no more. The nigga used to make um um uh tank tops. That nigga, that nigga make, nigga make everybody tank top. He say, man, give me a t-shirt. I, I I can sew you a tank top. Shit, nigga, I need a tank top. Uh, yeah, I see. Let me see. Nah, nigga, ain't finna hustle me, nigga. You can't even talk right. <laughs> shit. shit, my nigga came out. I said, "Cuz, where you get that at?" He said, "Cuz made the tank top for me." Cuz, there's no made it. He said, "Hell yeah." yeah. Say, look at nigga. I got, yeah, I got two t-shirts right there. <laughs> go, go, maybe two of them, old man. I need to end your money right here. Look at your money. Pay you right there. Yeah. He said, "Man, thank you, man. Thank you, somebody." Get and he was happy for that. Just to get that little piece of work, he was happy, nigga. I need me a, a taste up, nigga. Now, when you get caught with it, they gonna take you. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna have me another one. <laughs> he ain't talking about, but I'm gonna wait till I get to the wreck yard and I pop a top on the old and come out on that wreck. Ooh, Cole, where you get the tank top here? I know it. Yeah. I, I'm sitting at work all the way to this nigga said, Cause you got me working. I'm making tank tops. I don't wanna make no more tank tops. So here we go. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I don't want to make no more tank tops. No more tank tops. Oh, come on now. Chill out. Okay. Y'all come get y'all church from down there, man. He ain't making no more tank tops. You know what I'm saying? You don't feel like it, man. What do you owe you, man? I already paid for her. Look at your money back. You don't feel like it. Yeah. You know, that's how he was. Yeah. He heard one minute and go on the next. You asked me what was some of the crazy and worst things I've seen in prison. This, this was it. Yeah. For them to take the... Mentally challenged and put them in a place like this, knowing that they mentally liked it, and they got the paperwork to say that they liked it, but the system say she. <laughs> what's our what's our rule here, dumb? <laughs> Rules on what? Change the one. <laughs> we did just prove that here. Yeah. Mm. And them rich niggas think they gonna be somebody, and they they, they think they some. Come on, you think people gonna fuck about you, rich niggas, when y'all coming up with that bush? Y'all look like they. Who's they gonna change? Cause you out of there. We got people in this motherfucker doing way worse than you. We got people in this motherfucker don't even know they in this motherfucker. Yeah. Hello. No. They ain't snapped that over yet. Yeah. yeah. They walking down that all every day. Insane. The same junkie you used to see on the corner that didn't have his right mind. Then we ain't caught him enough time where he can get to live in prison for the rest of his life. Nigga, he's happy. Yeah. He's happy, bitch. No more, no more cold soups, nigga. <laughs> No more cold coffee and no more cold nights, nigga. Compared to what they call cold nights. Nigga used to sleep under a cardboard box. Yeah. Nigga in a box and put the machine in there and lay on a goddamn water fountain on the side of the curb and catch the steam coming out the motherfucking sewer, nigga. That's his heat. Yeah. Nigga said the steam yeah. coming out the sewer, that's his. <laughs> Boy, that's fight. I'm my bad, y'all. <laughs> that's how deep it get out there in them streets. You hear me? Uh. And saying that to say this, 
when they find a place they can live in peace, joy, and harmony, three hots and a cot, and never have to wake up to where they gotta get something to eat, then they go in and clean themselves up, they be shaved up and everything, you go in that motherfucker, they be in there directing the choir. Yeah. You get in that motherfucker, be like, God, yeah, cuz you the choir director, you remember me? No, I don't remember you, nigga. Well, I, Jimmy, man, we don't remember us. Not the whole boys to sleep on the court, boy, box nigga that'll step by the curve all the time. Yeah, that's me, man. God damn. Got in there and cleaned up well. That's where they live at. Yeah. Don't want to come home. Bet not make them let, make, let them make parole. They don't shit. They don't want to go back to that cardboard box. Gonna grab one of you niggas and cut y'all them fucking ear to ear. Just get them another life sentence in this motherfucker. I don't want to go home. This is where I live. This is where I stay. This is where I'm going to die in TDC. Y'all need to look up all the lost souls in prison. Niggas that have been in that motherfucker, they ain't never coming home, and everybody forgot about them. Do anybody got an uncle that they said was in prison that you know that's the last time you heard that was my mama's last brother? Yeah. Well, where he at? You know, he been locked up. Mama and them died. Ain't nobody checked on that last brother? Nah. Don't nobody know. It's TDC number. They just know his name. It was Uncle Willie. That's Leroy and Willie. Leroy and Willie. Understand me, me and Uncle. You might got some good people in that place that's finna come home. Uh, I don't recommend for everybody to deal with niggas that come home from prison. Uh, oh, that was a good one. I don't recommend for everybody to deal with niggas that come home from prison. Okay, bitch, stop or something, huh? Okay, 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 okay. I hope, bitch. I don't know how to do this shit. Yeah, I don't recommend for everybody, you know, when niggas come home, First thing y'all wanna do is try to beat up for them. Y'all gotta make sure first thing y'all do, let's do a little um, let's do uh, a little, little putting back the a little recovery. A little recovery for when people come home from prison. You don't mind down, I do a little five yeah, minute yeah, recovery. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody that got somebody that's coming home from prison, um, let me give y'all uh five rules in the rule book. Uh, to help yourself and guide yourself, because I know a lot of y'all people got people, I see y'all every day up there at Huntsville, standing at the door, waiting on these people to come out. Every day, every every time that there's a, a, a TDC release, there's families standing out there waiting, hugging, and I be I was fucked up, nigga. I just I gotta walk to the goddamn bus stop. Ain't nobody here to pick up old Eddie Kane. Yeah. Shit. Ain't nobody <laughs> fuck with you. Uh, ain't nobody come see you, Otis. Yeah. Shit. Ain't nobody come pick me up. They don't give a fuck cause, cause it's the way I went in. Yeah. I gotta expect that. Um, uh, I, I don't get the blue carpet rolled out for me. Yeah. I have to go earn it. Oh, I had to earn that. I had to earn the blue cup. Didn't nobody fuck with Otis? Yeah. Shit, nigga, I fucked everything up before I left. I had been fucking up shit for so long and so many years that uh, even when I came home with my mind on doing the right thing, didn't nobody believe me. I had cried wolf so many times, nigga, that motherfucker turned into a fox. <laughs> that motherfucker got so... I cried, I cried fox so much, that bitch turned into a coyote. Yeah. That motherfucker cried so much, just turned into a regular old dog. I went from the top-notch animal on the motherfucking hunter to, to nothing in their eyes. But what they don't know, when I was in there, I built myself up to be the coldest hunter when I got out that motherfucker. I'm back. And I tell myself, I ain't going to yeah, dog, you see it all the time. But anyway, let me give y'all some rules. When I came home, and it was a lot of y'all niggas, I'm going to give both the, the cons and the, and, the, and the vicks something. The cons is the ones that are coming home. The victim's going to be you if you don't listen. Boss, y'all catch that in a minute. That's gonna be your convict. You don't wanna be the vic. Cause when a con come home, don't let him make you the victim. Things to look forward for. And things for him to do. When you come home, nigga, before you get out of there, nigga, please set you a couple of goals before you touch the street, nigga. At least come out that motherfucker with your mind on something to do. I don't give a damn if it's a week worth of shit to do. At least have that shit on your mind. First thing I want to tell any nigga that's getting out of prison that's listening to me, shit, give yourself a chance. When you give out, give yourself a chance. Don't go straight back to the drug house. Don't go straight back to your homeboy's hustle. Don't hang around certain niggas that when you come and give yourself a chance, nigga. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't run around nobody that you ain't been around you for the last five or six or 18 years that you've been doing. No, them not, them not, uh, partners, friends, homies, if, if you didn't see them when you was down there, you don't need to see them now. You yeah. know, they still invisible. That's how I came home. I came home with my mind on something. I said, I'm not finna do no more, and I had to stick to it. I had a whole motherfucking track of hurdles set up in front of me. Telling me, nigga, you had to jump all these before you get where you're going. Nigga, guess what? I've still been jumping them. Now, I hit a couple of them. <laughs> I knocked a couple of them down. 
But I ain't tripping that now. One of them tripped me and made me fall hit the ground. You hear me? Yeah. I pick it and I get right back on my stride. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I can run hurdles too, niggas. Yeah. Anybody want to try me? Just sit up 10. Now that's it. Yeah. Five. Now. <laughs> I take you for the five. <laughs> anyway, said that to say that ladies, men, whoever you got, uncles, grandpa, you got somebody coming home, don't ride them. Give them a chance. Do what they had to do when they got to prison. Let me help y'all out. Do what they had to do. A lot of y'all got people coming. I just seen a movie came out the other day, and this is going to be a great help. Uh, for those, I seen a lady say on the movie, she said, my, um, I got a, I don't know, she said her dad just came home from prison. You know, it's a movie just dropped, and it looked like it's going to be a hell of a movie. Um, and she said, my dad just came home from prison, and, um, she was gonna let him stay with him, you know, and he raised her coming up in the system. And in that movie, uh, damn, what's my boy's name? It's gonna be a badass movie. Yeah. But um, I was looking at that movie, and he was taking the monitor off his leg and everything and shit. And he was like, "Yeah, you can still stay with us." And I was looking for that movie to take a tragic. You know, I was waiting for some bad to go. I ain't seen it yet, but I'm dying to see it because I, you know, I know what it feel like to come home to nothing. Um, mm. I know what it feel like to come home when you left, you had everything, now you got to come home to nothing. Um, but I don't know what it feel like that I thank God I don't, that I came home to both my parents. When I came home, my dad was still alive, my mom was too. Um, somebody going to come home, ain't going to have now one of them no more. Yeah. Um, some of y'all done lost your whole family before you get it. You going to have hurdles set up in front of you. Uh, at least try to jump the first one. That means give yourself a try. Uh, don't get out there and uh, run straight to the body. You know, nigga, I need shit. I just got out, cuz. Shit, I just give me one of them, cuz, cuz, I just got out. Well, if you need one of them and you just got out, we know you just going back to the same shit. Uh, I didn't smoke nothing when I was in prison. Not a motherfucking thing. My right hand to God, Jesus strike me. I ain't never do a drug. Nothing. I didn't smoke a fucking cigarette. I didn't want no fucking cigarette. I didn't smoke no goddamn weed. None of that shit. Yeah. Because you know what I knew in the world? I had problems with this in the world. So what I did in there, I started in there trying to better myself on the shit that I said I wasn't going to do and I didn't need in my life no more. Now, how did I end up back on these right here? Yeah. Uh, it comes with life struggles. You dig what I'm saying? Uh. But one thing I ain't let these do this time is send me back. You understand me? How some cigarettes gonna send you back? You just don't know to be that one cigarette that set a nigga off for the next thing to the next thing to the next thing to the other thing. And that's what got him back to where he was at. He needed a cigarette when he got it. First, I need a squirrel. Shit, no you don't, nigga. That let me know old habits don't change. See? Yeah. When old habits change, you get right. When I came home, I left with everything. When I came home, I came home to nothing. I came home not even to a family. I had fucked my family off. My mom and them wasn't going to let Percy stay with them. Percy? Hell no. Yeah, that nice sweet lady yet? No. That wasn't in her um, repertoire. <laughs> Percy? Oh, hell no. Never in her wildest dream. No, you know, Percy ain't going to stay here. Um, Percy was too, you know... Too gangster back then. Uh, they didn't want him around. He 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 he, he wasn't trying to hear nothing from nobody. Family members, I could get it. Uh, tell them a crib. I fucked up a holiday. <laughs> now that's when I and you know, all that went out the door. Uh, I I went into prison. I picked up habits. Uh, and the good thing wasn't none of them a drug habit. Uh, I picked up habits to where I earned my respect. And that came from anybody and everybody that was around me. And it was something that nigga didn't give me. Uh, it was something I earned. Uh, but I didn't know that it came with a curse, a little um, mental um, fuck up. Uh, I came home on respect. Um, in prison, that's what you live on. In the world, that will get you killed. Because mm. uh, everybody ain't going to respect you out here. Yeah. That's a good. Uh, and when you learn that, you live longer. Yeah. Uh, I could have been the fucked it off. I told you I picked up habits. That was a habit. 
That was a real, real bad habit. Uh, I looked at res for respect to everything I did from any motherfucker that I was around. And any sign or any smell of disrespect, nigga, I went in it. Uh, with no problem. Tales from a crib, I was at home. Thanksgiving, playing dominoes, families and shit. Family remember we playing dominoes, everybody was kicking in one thing. Then one of my uncles said, God damn me, domino bitch. Ooh. I said, what that nigga just say? That nigga just called me a bitch. Uh, uncle or no uncle. All I know is he is a man. And I'm due my respect. And I, ah, and I slept that nigga. I slept that nigga, and my family charged me up for it. Person, what's wrong with you? Yeah, go get that bitch off the table. I don't play that shit. Um. Was that gangster? To me, it was. Um. But the sad part about it, um. That was dangerous. I'm institutionalized. Yeah. Um. I don't know how to see dry land through muddy water. <laughs> I don't know how to see dry land through muddy water. I can't see what's in front of me because, you know, I, I now I know Unc don't, don't mean me no harm. No, I know Unc can't whoop me to me. Can't now now when he motherfucker whoop me. But I know Unc didn't mean me nothing when he said it, but he said it. But I let prison fuck my head up so much to where my respect is so tolerant that I can't take no disrespect. Yeah. That's family person. We playing dominoes. Damn it, bitch. That's how they talk at the table. I don't play like that. And I fucked up the Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, pray, pray, person, crazy man. Come on, cool. You didn't have to do that, man. You wrong. You know you wrong for that, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, everything my fault. But then nobody ever came out of his mouth, man. That prisoner got to your head. Might got a point. Damn. Motherfucker might hit a nerve. How deep am I into this? Or is that just where a man's supposed to be? Yeah. I'm, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting with ego inside my head when it comes to respect, because I'm due that, I earned that, I deserve it. Any fucking man in the world, even my fucking uncle, it's done, because you ain't nothing but another man to me. Yeah. Uh, when I knew I could fight a prison guard, another nigga wasn't shit to me no more. Yeah. <laughs> if I jump on the uniform, nigga, I'm a bad motherfucker. That mean anybody can get it. You ain't shit. Yeah. That's why that's how I fought my nuts with. That go for being pulled over in the streets and in the penitentiary on the hallway. You hear me? Uh, that'll get you killed if you keep doing it, person. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can run into one of them uncles, you do this to and he know he didn't mean you no harm and kill you. <laughs> yeah. What happened to the person? Unc shot him for what? Person shot But we are, uh, person, person, uh, you know, playing with Unc and Unc, you know, playing domino and Unc got, went and got that pistol and came back and killed person. Uh, that person know Uncle bullshit. You know, that person tells you Mr. Percy because he thought Unc, you know, but Unc ain't got no business calling that man a bench punk or a hoe, playing or not playing. People, when you got people coming home from prison, learn how to treat them. Yeah. Give them time. Don't ride them. You looking for a job today? No, motherfucker. just got out doing 15 years. Can a motherfucker relax? God damn. Yeah. As soon as a nigga come home, let me tell y'all what y'all do, family. A lot of y'all put pressure on them to where they just end right back up in the same place. Let me tell you something. Don't no man come home wanting to go back. Don't no man go home wanting to come back. He don't want to go back there. Believe me. He might act tough and shit like that. He don't want to go back there. He'll take out running. He see a police. Why? Because he don't want to go back there. What are you talking about? Because <laughs> he don't want to go back. Uh, don't let the green grass fool you. Give that man a chance. Don't pressure him. Family, don't pressure him. Don't, don't act like goddamn they've been locked up because I'm going to tell y'all something. Uh. A lot of things that kept me going back to prison was family. I came home trying to prove something to everybody, and, and it always led me back. I yeah. tried to, cause guess what I found out? The people that I was trying to prove shit to, they didn't give a fuck if you proved it to them or not. They still thought the same way about you. 
You dig what I'm saying? Well, no, it don't matter what you did. Yeah. You still gonna be that same person to them. You dig what I'm saying? So, um, brothers, when you come home, um, uh, do yourself a favor. Uh, give yourself a chance. Don't worry about what other people think about you. If you coming home to do right, and you see that they don't want to see you doing right, just tell them, say, uh, uh psych! Yeah. <laughs> she, wrong nigga. <laughs> now, nah, I'm going to do this with a smile on my face if it hurts you or not. See, one thing they don't like is an arrogant nigga, but one thing they love is a, is, is, is a proud nigga. Yeah. Uh, a, a confidence nigga. I'm, she, I, I was confident when I came home. I knew what people expected of me. And I knew I didn't have shit. I had learned to myself that I didn't have nothing to prove to nobody else. People, when y'all see y'all people come home from prison, don't make them have to prove something to you. Yeah. <clears throat> Watch them. Guess what? That'll prove something to you. That'll prove to you if they trying to get it or if they trying to go back. Uh, when you see them going back, that mean they ain't trying to get it. Yeah. No. When they trying to get it, <laughs> they'll never go back. Yeah. I know that's a fact. Uh, I seen that. I seen that premiere of that movie, and I feel like that's a good topic to talk about. When they coming home, how to handle them when they come home. A lot of people can come home to nothing. Some people gonna come home to everything. It's gonna be the ones that come home to everything end up right back in there. Uh, it's gonna be the ones that come home to nothing, earn. What they got after that. Yeah. Cause what they got after that gonna show you they came home to prove that they can do that. Yeah. Um, when you come out here and you still study feeding these niggas, these niggas with big bags of commissary coming down the hall, spoiled like a motherfucker, he ain't learned nothing. Why? Cause you teased him and you treated him, you took care of him the whole time he was in there. Supposed to be learning a lesson, you pampered him. You pampered him, you pampered him, you kept his book full. Yo, mijo, yo, mata, yo, cousin, I kept your book full. Yo, baby, I kept your book full, baby. I made, you even came home with some money on your book. And the nigga came home and treated you like you owed him something. Because you been taken care of him. Yeah. As soon as they get out here and they ain't got nothing, they expect something from you again. When you like, well, bitch, you in the world now, nah, nigga, you gonna work? Hello. No, ho. <laughs> Hello. Get it that time. I heard that. Ain't you gonna work? Nah, I ain't gonna work. He ain't gonna work. Bitch, you been taking care of. Hey, you talking about work for what? Shit, you been she waiting on yeah, work waiting on you to get off work, cash your check, and uh, and, and put something on his books. Put something on his book. He can live out what you get off his books. Now, nigga, you more expensive now, cause now we gotta wash your clothes for real. Yeah. You can't send your shit to the laundry, nigga. Now nigga, we gotta cook something for real. Nigga, you don't go to child, nigga. You got, we, that's that food cause that you put in your mouth, nigga. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, now it's time to wake up. All the three hot. Now, nigga, that, 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 that cover, that, that linen that they bring you every day, nigga. The, the shit that y'all missing now. The, the free shit you been getting that's institutionalizing your mind and saying to yourself, I, I get out. This some shit I ain't got to worry about. Well, the shit, that, the little shit that you wasn't looking at in prison, it's the shit that you missed. Yeah, nigga, uh, them, them covered in towels and shit. Oh, Every time they throw you a roll of toilet paper, you got to buy your own toilet paper now, niggas. It ain't free no more. No, they come by your cell every other day and give everybody a roll of toilet paper, though, so they keep their ass clean. Yeah, you even got paper in there. God damn, we got paper for the toilet paper? Good. Yeah, where you think you're going to get it in? The fuck? Oh, yeah. It's child time. You niggas get three meals, nigga. You niggas... Cause god damn, I just ate. I just paid for breakfast. Would you, would you, you must ain't gonna eat lunch and dinner. Nah, nigga, I gotta pay for this. What the fuck you think you gonna get it from? Yeah. Don't nobody feed no niggas. When you get out, it's a lot of things gonna come to light for a lot of y'all to come home to nothing. When you come home to nothing, uh, don't worry about it. God got something for you. Keep your eyes on the prize. Not on your enemies. Keep your eyes on the prize, not on your enemies, yeah. man. Uh, if I let what people say about me get to me, I would have been back in prison. Yeah. Let me tell y'all about Percy, y'all. My right hand to God. People expecting me to been back in prison. It's niggas that's out right now that'll tell you right now because I thought Cub would have been with me back. I, I knew Cub was coming back. Niggas tell me they proud of me because I didn't go back. Niggas say they proud of me for the person I turned out to be 
on that I'm working on being. Mm -hmm. You understand me? I still got a couple of screws, you know, uh, things I need to work on. As soon as I get them fixed, y'all asses in trouble. My car gonna be running fine. <laughs> I'm putting it to the gas. But mm -hmm. right now, I'm working on it. Uh, got a couple of screws that need tightening it up. A couple of spark plugs put in and after that, niggas. A couple of took out and threw it away because they old. And them go with habits and all. Because when I change them spark plugs, my car gonna be ready good. Yeah. That bitch gonna rrr, fly straight up. But see, that's one thing you gotta know about yourself. Once you know who you are and what you need to do with you, you gonna get further in life. Uh, when y'all niggas come home, don't try to prove nothing to nobody. Prove something to yourself. When y'all see people coming home and you got the red carpet, that don't don't press them. Watch them. If they wanna make something out, they say if they gonna do it right in front of you. When you see them trying, you give them the rest of the help all the way. Yeah. My mama taught me that. She said, praise as long as I see you trying, baby, I got you. I said, what? That was my step. R.I.P. to my stepmama. Shirley Demerson. That was my that was my mama, man. Uh. That was my mama, Shirley Demerson, that was my mama. Um. She had a motto. As long as you try a little, I help you a lot. Yeah. But if I don't see you trying. Don't ask me for shit. <laughs> yeah. And that's her way of doing things. And she was the truth. Uh, she didn't give a damn. I, I, I mean, I was behind on rent, behind on electric, but she seen me working. Guess what that was to her? Trying. Huh. She'd come through there and say, oh, did you pay your electric? She said, I knew you were shop. One thing my mama did, she kept up with me just like she kept up with everybody else. My mama was good. She knew what I owed on this. Goddamn, step mama shit. I'm you know, watching everything. Yeah. She said, take care of your business. Take care of your business. She said, uh, long as you work, here you go, go pay your I, I just paid your electric and I just paid your rent. Ah damn. Y'all don't keep your check. Yeah. That's the type of mama. Cause that's one that's the person that say, I see you trying, so I'm gonna help you the rest of the way. I know you need to go buy you some shoes, so I know you just came home. Take care of your business. Uh a lot of people that, that say that they wanna see people come home and do right. Be the main person that put their foot on their neck when they come home. Yeah. Impression, man. You going to you going look for a job today? They hiring down there in Southern, sir. Nigga got out Friday. They been talking about going to work ever since Monday. Uh, nigga can't even draw a couple of calls. They party with him all week. Let you know, you get out on Friday. He's oh, my boy, I have a party on Sunday. God damn it. The welcome home party. Sunday, everybody's sitting around kicking it with you. Monday's back to business. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I gotta go to work, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> Not for real. Oh. Cuz, what we doing today? Shit. <laughs> work. You look at Cuz, look at this. He just came home. He ain't. Y'all done partied him up all weekend. He just came home Friday. Uh, you, you had him jumping around like a motherfucker Friday night and Saturday. Goddamn, it was his, his welcome home party Sunday. Y'all sit around and had the barbecue for him. Now, Monday, he ready. What, what's up for the day? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> she. Back, back, back to the world. <laughs> we got to go to work. You need to be looking for a job. Oh, there they go. <laughs> yep, they on your ass. Nigga, they're like, damn. It was just good two hours ago. Yeah, I know it was. Shit, but um, that was just for the weekend. Nigga been gone 18 years, and all you had was a weekend worth of party, and that's it. It's back to business. Yeah. Shit. Cause they cool. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna call you when I get out, cool. <laughs> damn. Say, cuz, hey, man, what's up? It's your boy, John John, man, what's up? Well, yeah, you was at the barbecue the other day. What you got going, cuz? Uh, uh, oh, all right. All right, all right, all right. But tell the kids I said hi. Yeah. Right, yeah. Cuz, you told me to hit you up when I need you, cuz. God damn yeah. it, they, they money. What's going down? All right, all right, all right, all right. See, uh. What you need to do is find you something to do. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you. That's what I did. I found me something to do. When I came home, I didn't fuck with nobody. I learned in prison, I don't fuck with niggas. I'm prejudiced. Yeah. <laughs> Boss. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there, girl. Because all you niggas did was get me locked up. <laughs> Fucked around. 
and sitting back to the plantation. I don't, I don't fuck with y'all. Hey, I bet not. Shit, I already know what y'all got in store for me, so I stay to myself. Saying that to say this, man, everybody that's looking to come home to stay home, do yeah. that for yourself, man. Yeah. All you family members that got people that's locked up that's coming home, uh, please, please. The village need more kings out here. The village need more strong. But if you see that nigga going, I, I got to give y'all, give y'all the um the resume test. Um, when they come home, they got exactly six weeks to show you what they want. Uh, nigga be gone 20 years, 16 years, 18 years, 30 years. When he come home, tell him he got six weeks to prove to you this. You, you matter of fact, don't do that. You would know within six weeks. Just watch it. No. When you don't come in there shave no more. <laughs> but, um, and then, is you going to change your pants today? You had them on um, three days in a row. Yeah. Because um, you, 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 what happened to the waves in your hair? Your shit growing all over your gut. What's going on? What's going on? Don't ask them what's going on too fast. Don't do that. That's what made motherfuckers do that. You gotta watch. He might be just tired. If he ain't working, you ain't got a job. You, you yeah. just, that when you know, hey, ladies, y'all have to make decisions. Because I done had ladies get that, that TDC dick when they come home and they get stuck for years. Stuck. Bitch, out of there. Nigga, work, work that mule on them. And put that hard back on them. That hard aggy back. Been sticking dick to her, Wearing her down. Uh. She don't think there's another dick in the world like that aggy. You hear me? Uh. Sad thing about it, uh, that egg ain't gonna turn into number one little garden shovel pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't gonna be putting in no work with the back. If you don't goddamn be, uh, catch you where I start. Yeah. And you gotta say to yourself, uh, do I want my life to stop because his keep stopping? Yeah. No, I can't do, tell them niggas I can't do time with you. I don't have time to do with you. <laughs> do that with yeah. you. <laughs> I don't have time to do that with you. Say it with a smile if I mean it. See, once you know men that the woman won't be there after you fuck up, I can't, I can't knock it. Come home. Yeah. You got you somebody to come home to? Come home and treat them right, homie. Yeah. That's all I can say. Come home and treat them right. Let me tell y'all something. You niggas that's coming home, you men that's coming home, when you get home, stick to your plan. Don't, don't, don't come home and burn no bridges, man. I'm going to tell you out here, uh, you know, when y'all went, you know, they making bridges out of wood. Uh. They, it was hard to burn, though. They'd take a long time to burn. It called fire, but shit, now they just build out of plastic. You poof, psh, psh. Yeah. You burn your bridge quick out of there. Shit. They built out of straw now. Yeah. They don't build bricks like they used to. Uh, so, they letting you know, uh, ain't nobody got time for your bullshit when you get out. You fuck up, nigga. You just out of there. You yeah. Know? And people gonna go on with their life. Too much going on out here. Because people think y'all gonna come home with that same goddamn me trying to run game, old pop the cut, cut, cut. What are you doing? Go down there, huh? Now that gym, but what he that nigga gonna say, Cuz, what are you doing out here? Man, you know who that is. That, that's Cuz. Cuz yeah. just got that. Well, Cuz, Cuz, tell him to move around. Nigga, that's Cuz and them daddy, man. He just got, he just did all that time. Nigga, don't give a fuck. <laughs> Damn. Cuz, you can't do him like that, Cuz. That's homeboy daddy. Say, what's his name? That little, that big T bone, man. You know, he been locked up. That's our big home. Say, look at T bone. Man, what you doing? T bone, look around at the young nigga. What's up? What you doing? Oh, that that Joe little son. Ain't it? Yeah, that Joe little son. Yeah. He want to know what you do. Send it out of here. Now I'm trying to get my money like y'all little nigga. No, no, move around, T Bone. Don't do that. Move around. Tell you, move around, nigga. Let nigga jump off something. Nigga, you ain't moving? Yeah. T Bone, what's going on? Man, just come on, T Bone. Let's walk off. Let's walk off. Yeah. And they got to walk T Bone out, explain to him what the hood done turned out to be since he been gone. T-Bone came home and wanted his spot back. Young nigga yelled, stop that! You been gone too long. That's what the young nigga said. And Lord knows what be going on in these young niggas here. T-Bone came home, couldn't find no job. He said he gonna hit the block, sell his drugs, and, and make him some money and start bribing. Yeah. Shit. Nigga T-Bone got caught out there and one of them niggas dismounted his mug, had his whole head looking like he shampooed in blood. Sad T-Bone was a vandalist ass thug, a scandalous ass thug. Word on the street, T-Bone wanted his block back, but he died for cheap. <laughs> Boss, nigga. 
Said <laughs> that on rap battle. Let's go get him, Dad.